Hey everyone, it's Dr. Susan Pierce Thompson and we're live on YouTube together. Hey, I'm so happy to be here with you. So go ahead and comment down below. I want to hear if this is your first YouTube live with me. I did one just a couple days ago. This one though is on New Year's Day. So happy 2024 to you and to us. Uh, I am looking forward to this year. I'm curious to hear your feelings about 2024. I'm curious whether you've picked a word for 2024. I did. My word for 2024 is joy. And, you know, my word for 2023 was steady. And my year did end up being incredibly steady. And that was great for me because I can tend to, you know, uh, bounce all over the place. So steady for me was great. I had a great year in 2023. And I'm just going right into 2024 with the theme of joy. So I see Harold Gretzky is here. Hey, Harold, good to see you. I see Leanne Knight is here. She says it's her first face, uh, first YouTube Live. Thank you. I almost said Facebook Live, which is what we used to do. We used to do Facebook Lives, and now we do YouTube Lives. And, you know, if you're looking to change something in 2024, I'm curious what that is. Did you set a New Year's resolution What's your intention for 2024? What are you looking to do differently? And have you seen the food freedom videos? We're doing a bright year, bright you celebration right now in Bright Line Eating. And as part of that, we've released three uh, content videos. The videos are about the two foods that block weight loss, the one huge mistake that almost everyone makes when they try to lose weight, and then the specific things that those precious people do differently who are keeping off the weight that they have lost. What are they doing differently? That's the third video. And then a fourth video also got released that all is all about the Brightline Eating Bootcamp 2.0. It explains the bootcamp. It gives you some success stories. It shows some research data uh, and it explains the bonuses that come with the program. So I'm curious if you've already signed up for the boot camp. I'm curious about that. I'm curious if you did the boot camp in the past and you're still going strong and you're loving bright line eating. I want to hear about your bright transformation. So definitely put that into the chat. Um, put your um, questions for me as well. So this is ask Susan anything time. Basically, I'm just showing up here live on YouTube so that I can answer your questions. I can help you decide whether the Bright Line Eating Bootcamp is right for you in 2024, whether we can help you achieve your goals, what those goals might be. Um, I'm curious if you're coming back to Bright Line Eating, if you tried it and it worked, and then you decided to just wander away from the the core of the program, the people who are committed, who are doing it. Some people just think either, oh, I could probably do this on my own, or maybe I'll just deviate a bit. I can probably get 80% of the benefits if I just do 80% of the program. Uh, newsflash, it doesn't work that way. Uh, it's, it's kind of how addiction works, right? Is that small deviations yield outsized results, right? Like you don't get the benefits of being a, a non-smoker if you try that one puff of a cigarette at a concert that kind of unravels the whole thing. And pretty, pretty soon you're not a non-smoker anymore. Uh, so I wish it didn't work that way, but it does work that way. So I'm curious about your history there. So I'm going to say hello to some more of the people, but those are the kinds of things I'd love to hear from you in the chat. And just especially any questions like, how can I help you? How can I serve you? I'm here for you in 2024. Anything I can do. Um, my background is, you know, is I'm a recovering addict, you know, I used to be a drug addict and I've been clean now for 29 and a half years, this beautiful year, 2024, God willing in the Creek don't rise. I will have 30 consecutive years clean and sober. And then I've spent the rest of my life, um, battling this obesity food addiction thing and teaching other people how to do it. I was living with clinical obesity by my mid twenties. And by the age of 28, I learned how to do what I teach you all how to do, which is how to not eat sugar and flour, how to weigh and measure your food. And I dropped all my excess weight. I've been a U.S. size four for 20 years now, living in my right size body, gratefully, happily for 20 years. And I teach people how to do the same. So 
how can I help you in 2024? What do you need? Let's talk. Uh, Karen DeBow says, my word for 2024 is diligence. Oh, I love that, Karen. I love that. Ooh, that's got backbone. Uh, Princess Pamela's world says, hello, hello, hello. Happy new year. My word is tenacious. I love that too. Oh, Pamela. Awesome. And Ivana says, happy new year to everyone. Wishing you all to be happy and bright. Justin is here, says, hello from Colorado. My word is connection. Oh, Justin, my heart just connected with yours right there hearing you say that. I love that right here with you. So beautiful. Tammy says, hello and happy new year from Longview, Texas. Hey, Tammy. Uh, Jennifer Sheridan says, uh, hello, Susan. This is Jennifer from Ohio. Hi, Jennifer. Good to see you. Carla is here, says, good morning. Marlene Baldwin McCann is back, says, hi, Susan. Traverse City, Michigan. Word for 2024 is hope. I have joined Boot Camp 2.0. I am so excited. Susan, LOL, you know I'm a repeat offender from 2016. Welcome back, Marlene. Welcome back. I know you're back. It worked the first time. You wandered away. No harm, no foul. But, you know, once you get a taste of living bright, once you really get a sense of this way of life, I really believe you will never settle for less again, not for any length of time. You'll always in the back of your brain be going, you know what, there's a better way to live than this. And I know it. And I miss it. I miss being bright. So welcome back. Welcome back, Marlene. Beth says, I'm here from Michigan. My words are be still. So happy to have joined Boot Camp too. Woohoo. Love it. Love, love, love it, Beth. Be still. Love it. Anna May Riddell says, this is my first time on YouTube. My word for the year is adventure. Hey, Anna. So nice to meet you. Welcome. Welcome. Glad you found us. And Peggy says, hi, Susan and everyone. I'm just starting boot camp. My word for the year is confident, which I need at this point. Uh, bless you all. Peggy, welcome to boot camp. Welcome to boot camp. You know, the thing about confidence is you can have it or you can act as if you have it and get the same results. So just keep that in mind, Peggy, when you're feeling like you need confidence, just act as if you have it and proceed <laughs> uh creating the world that it would look like if you did and i love that welcome to boot camp 2.0 peggy you're in the right place debbie johnson is here and says happy new year from richmond virginia i wasn't going to choose a word but i thought i need to be consistent so consistent is my word i want to eat healthy i am a terrible sugar addict Debbie Johnson, are you in the boot camp how can we support you with that you know we have a whole program that's around helping people to be consistent with not eating sugar. What creates consistency is committing to a system and surrounding yourself with like-minded people and doing it together in a cohort. So doing the boot camp and then Bright Lifers afterwards, which is our membership that comes after the boot camp, that's an annual membership. And, and there's so much involved in it, this whole Bright Roadmap that supports you in having the transformation that you want, right? Um, that's what creates consistency is committing to a system and signing up with a group of people who go through it together. So I'm curious where you're at with that, Debbie. Have you considered the boot camp? Are you already in? How's it going? Kirsten says, I started my day one with boot camp January of 2019, and I lost all my weight and I've kept it off for the last four years. So grateful for this program. Well done, Kirsten. I love it. Thank you for sharing your bright transformation with us. And Misty McLaughlin says, I went through Boot Camp 2.0 in October and I want to go through it again. Well, you can. You can. And if you're a Bright Lifer, if you joined Bright Lifers, it's part of your membership. So you don't even have to pay for it this time. So that's, or, you know, you did pay for it as part of your Bright Lifers membership. So that's awesome. Nancy Lee says, happy loving new year. My name is Lance, Nancy Lee and I just invested in the program and I'm excited for success. Welcome, Nancy. You're in the right place, my dear. Welcome. And Bev Ann Moynihan says, I can't afford the boot camp, but I have ordered the book from the library. Well done, Bev. Well done. That's right. There's four Brightline Eating books. And the first one, Brightline Eating, explains the science of the program, uh, and it's going to be a great place to start for you, my dear. I'm so glad, so glad you enjoy that book. This is my mug. It says, 
I am adulting right now. I am adulting right now. Rosalyn C says, my word is determined. Rosalyn, I love that. All right, comments and questions. We've got some questions here. And Julie Carnell says, happy new year from the UK. Susan, what are your thoughts on Wagovi? Great question. So Wagovi, Julie, as I'm sure you know, is a semaglutide. Uh, so a semaglutide is a drug name and Wagovi is the brand name, right? So Novo Nordisk is the weight loss, is the pharmaceutical company that makes Wagovi. It's approved for weight loss and it's a drug that mimics, so it's an agonist, it mimics GLP-1, which is a hormone that increases satiety. It makes you feel full and it also decreases addictive cravings and urges pretty much of all kinds. So for food, for cigarettes, for alcohol. And my thoughts are that it's a godsend for a lot of people. Like a lot of people are out there thinking I'm, I'm experiencing hunger and cravings beyond what I can manage. Now, the thing is that bright line eating will manage that hunger and that craving too. So, oh, and I promised I would show data. Okay. So you've just queued me up and I, I, I blew it, but I'm going to recover fast. Watch me recover fast. I didn't queue up the slide that I want to show you. But I can get it ready for you really fast. Okay. So basically, if you look at the data, oh, whoops, that's the wrong slide. Da, 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 da. I need the semaglutide one. Semaglutide comparison slide. There we go. There we go. Okay. So if you look at the data, I'm going to share my screen now. If you look at the data comparing the published results of different weight loss programs, what you see is that bright line eating has the same results as Wagovi and starkly different than all other programs, right? And so the thing about Wagovi is it's very expensive and there are some side effects to contend with, right? People experience gastrointestinal side effects. Uh, it makes some people feel very, very sick, nausea, vomiting, um, just a feeling of gastrointestinal sickness, sometimes stomach blockage. It slows down digestion. Some people get a sharp stomach pains or even blockages in their stomach. So uh, for some people, the gastrointestinal systems are quite severe and the cost of it is really, really high, depending, I think you're in the UK, so you can get it for a little less. Here in America, it's over $1,000 a month. So super, super expensive. But even in the UK, it's going to cost more for you than Bright Line Eating does, for example. And the challenge with it is that you have to stay, you have to be prepared to stay on it for life because when you go off it, you'll regain the weight. That's what the data show. Like within a year, you'll have regained most of the weight. So it's not a long-term solution unless you're going to stay on the drug long-term. And some people are really prepared to do that and they're okay with that. And the reduction in hunger and cravings is worth it to them. Most of the people who are excited about Wagovi don't know about bright line eating. They don't know that they can get the same results from bright line eating. Um, the way that we teach people to eat in bright line eating actually releases the same hormones as Wagovi. That's one of the ways that it works. Uh, so this is a natural way to get the same results, essentially. Um, so I have nothing bad to say about those drugs. I think people need to be aware of the cost benefit sort of uh, equation there, right? Some side effects, some serious cost. Um, and, you know, food and weight are such a beast that I want people to have the support that, that they need, you know, and for a lot of people, they get that in bright line eating and they get the same results as they do on Wagovi. I think there are people who are doing both. Um, and there are people who are coming to bright line eating because they want to get off Wagovi because they don't want to pay all that money anymore. And, and they want a way to wean off without regaining their weight. So you know, there's a nuanced conversation there. 
Um, Leanne Knight says, I love the food freedom videos. I've seen three out of four. Leanne, I'm so, so glad. So, so glad, my dear. For everyone who hasn't seen them yet, look at the blurb. It should be maybe right below me. Look at the blurb uh, for this YouTube live and notice that we have a link in there. And that's where you can go to watch the videos if you haven't seen them yet. Uh, Jennifer Sheridan says, I've watched the food freedom videos and I've tried BLE before, but I didn't give it much effort. I'm excited to give it my best this time. Jennifer, you're going to be so successful. We have a saying around here, JFTFP, just follow the fabulous plan. And if you do that, my dear, you just give it your best effort. Just really go all in on it. You're going to do so, so great. I have every, every confidence. So sweet. Holly Hale says, I fell off the wagon and I'm back. I watched the live on the live video this morning. I know it works and I need support to get back on track. Holly, what kind of support do you need, my dear? What support do you need? Um, I'm curious whether just taking action would be what you need, right? Sign up for the boot camp, start going through the planning and preparation materials and reach out for support, which it encourages you to do. Like the, there's very concrete guidance in the planning and preparation process on how to reach out for support. So what do you think about that for an action plan, Holly? Sign up for the boot camp. do what it says. Does that land for you or do you need something else? Please communicate with me. How can I support you? I want to be helpful for you. You asked for support to get back on track. And I want to give you what feels helpful. So that's my first stab. Sign up for the bootcamp, do what it says. If if you need something else, please, please type in and get back to me. Uh, Denise A says, yes, I tried bright line eating before. I know it works. And yet I still strayed. You know, it's shocking, Denise, how strong the delusion can be once we're doing it and seeing that it works to think that we can just stray. It's it's a little bit of a um, an alternate reality, I think. Once our brains have healed, we really do think, well, surely now I can just start deviating and it will be fine. And as much as I warn people, it won't be. You need to actually keep doing this for it to keep working um, don't get complacent and just stay grateful and humble and just keep doing it one day at a time the way I taught you to do it at the beginning. Um, people have a hard time doing that. And I think this is why staying in the community and connecting up with the community support structures that we have in the Bright Lifers membership. We have things like daily accountability calls, morning and night, and the Gideon games and mastermind groups. And these are the structures that we've built in. And what our research shows is that people who take advantage of those support structures, they don't stray on average, right? I mean, of course some do, but on average, that's what enables them to stay committed. There's a beautiful saying, you think of like, you know, getting sober or quitting smoking, right? Uh, as going on the wagon. Well, there's a great saying, Nobody ever falls off the middle of the wagon. You can't fall off the middle of the wagon. So yeah, if you're going to sort of go to the perimeter of the wagon, you might fall off, right? But if you stay in the middle of the wagon, you won't fall off. So yeah. Um, and here's Princess Pamela uh, World's, Princess Pamela's world saying, uh, coming back, got lost in the weeds. Yep, it happens. Welcome back. Harold Gretzky is here and is someone who stays in the middle of the wagon pretty well. Uh, would you say that's true, Harold? It seems to me that that's true because I see you around a bunch. It seems to me like you're in the middle of the wagon. And Harold says, boot camp in 2022 was a game changer for me. So much more material than just the book. Yes, agreed. There's so much more in the boot camp than just the book. Midge Miller is here. Uh, says, this is my first live q and I'm looking for any way to pr improve my health and help me lose weight. I watched the four videos and I'm trying to decide about joining bootcamp. Well, Midge, you're in the right place, my dear. How can I help you make that decision? You know, it's interesting. I just want to repeat back to you what you said. Can I repeat back your words to you? 
sometimes people don't even realize what they say. You said, I am looking for any way. I am looking for any way to improve my health and help me lose weight. I am looking for any way to improve my health and help me to lose weight. Now you've seen those four videos, Midge. Do you think maybe you may have just found a way? You're looking for any way. Do you think maybe you found a way to improve your health and help you lose weight? Just saying. All right, Leanne Knight says, two years ago I was committed, then deviated to gluten-free, then I started eating gluten-free pastries. <laughs> oh, Leanne, not food. I plan to be 100% BLE. Yeah, it's so easy to just, yep, right, like keto bars and all these other, no, fake foods, fake foods. Don't eat the fake foods. Go to the grocery store, buy carrots, <laughs> you know, like real food, real food. We don't ever sell any foods here at Brightline Eating. And if we ever do, it's time to like jack me up really quick and say, Susan, people just need to eat real food. Ah, uh, Michelle Day says, started, stopped, started, stopped. I put out a vlog a couple of weeks ago for you, Michelle Day. It's called Day One Again and Again. Day One Again and Again. Go check out that vlog. All right, we've got some word of the year comments. We've got Melissa Stevens who says, happy 2024. My word is strong. I joined in 2023 and almost ready to land the plane. I love Brightline Eating. Melissa, awesome. Fist bump to you, my dear. Those of you who don't know, landing the plane is our language for getting to that point where you're almost done losing all your excess weight and you're about to transition to maintenance. Congratulations, Melissa. That's amazing. We crush it at maintenance around here, by the way, for those who don't know. And that's something that a lot of plans, really every other plan I know of, doesn't address is how do you transition to maintenance and what what is the key to success in maintenance? And we have three maintenance courses, maintenance one, maintenance two, and maintenance three that cover that entirely. Maintenance one is about the psychology of maintenance. Maintenance two is about the nuts and bolts of how to land the plane successfully, how to add food, exactly some of the things that can happen to throw people off around that time. And then maintenance three is how do you live in maintenance long-term, happily, successfully? So we really have you covered around maintenance. So Melissa, I'm curious, have you done maintenance one and maintenance two yet? That's where you need to be, right? That's awesome. Kirsten C says, happy new year from New Zealand. Oh, you got there first, my dear. You, you won that race. You were, you're already, you are, right? Yeah, you're already in January 2nd. You've been here to, since 2016, haven't been consistent with connection. So I think that will be my word, my words for 2024, consistent connection. Love it, Kirsten. Love it. Consistent connection. Bev Ann Moynihan says, my word for the year is success. Woo! Keep it simple, Bev. Just straight to the point. Success. Linda says her word for the year is definitely connection and support by doing both. Love it. Wave says, hello from Maresville. My word is faith. And my hope is to stop saying last bite. Oof. Yes. Stop saying last bite. And just it's time to be bright, my dear. Time to be bright. Linda Wiener says, Happy New Year, Susan, from Portland, Oregon. We are unstoppable. Yes, we are, Linda. Yes, we are. And Z, uh, N-O-N-O-U-R-B, Nonarb. I'm not going to pronounce your last name right, so I'm not even going to try it, but I think I'm getting your first name right, and that's Z. And Z is saying, I'm thinking my word will be acceptance. I think that's beautiful. Everything gets better when we just accept, right? When we just accept our reality the way it is. A lot of people don't get peace with Bright Line Eating because they don't accept. They don't accept the reality of their food situation the way it is, right? Sure. Jennifer Sheridan says, my word is action. And I didn't pick it. It picked me. I am going to take action this year. I'm curious for the story behind that, Jennifer. How did how did the word action pick you. I'm curious what that looked like. Alex T says, I signed up for boot camp and eating my first bright lunch while I'm watching this. Alex, woo, woo, 
<laughs> You're already on day one, eating your first bright lunch. I love that. My word of the year is metamorphosis. Alex, you are going to experience it. I have zero doubt, zero doubt. You're already demonstrating the JFTFP, just follow the fabulous plan type of approach that results in a profound and incredible metamorphosis. You have got this. All right. Linda says, my question, is it common to lose hair with weight loss? I'm on day 207 and I've released 46 pounds since June. Linda, um, it's not the most common side effect, but it is a known side effect of weight loss. Weight loss by any approach is known to, in some people, cause hair loss. Now, here's the good news is that it's not permanent hair loss. What happens is some of the hairs miss a growing cycle the follicles are still there, the hair falls out, but the follicle still works. And when you transition to maintenance, it'll smooth out again and those follicles will grow hairs again. So I would just hang in there for a bit. I know it can be disconcerting, uh, but that's what the research shows. So it's it's not super common, but it does happen in, in some people and it's a known side effect of weight loss, yes. Um, April Lynn Barrett says, I am late to this video chat. <clears throat> I am signed up as a bright lifer. I have been for a couple of years. Would boot camp or resume be better for me? April Lynn, um, I guess my question for you is: have you ever done boot camp 2.0? It's brand new as of six months ago, right? So we offered it in June and October. Have you done it? Because if you haven't done boot camp 2.0, then I would recommend you do boot camp 2.0. If you've done Bootcamp 2.0 already, then I would go into Reboot Resume. Both courses are exceptional. And Reboot Resume is like, like an advanced Bootcamp in a way. Bootcamp lays the foundation. Reboot Resume takes things to the next level. Um, but there are so many important new elements to the new Bootcamp that if you haven't ever done it, I think it's important to do it. I hope that helps. Father Stefan Puglio is here. Hello, Father Stefan. I haven't seen you in a while. Good to hear from you. Father Stefan says, happy and blessed New Year 2024, Susan. I loved your new four videos. I watched every one of them. Still bright and staying above the danger and destruction zone. Well done, Father Stefan. Put into the chat for folks who don't know the basics of your bright transformation. You've lost a ton of weight. You've been keeping it off for years. You do so much service. You're such a blessing in our community. Thank you so much, Father Stefan. I'm curious how you're doing. I'm so glad you're still doing great. It's fabulous. Good to hear. Z says again, thank you, Susan. I pray I can lose the last 30 pounds. I lost 50 with Brightline Eating, but I'm breastfeeding and keep. I keep feeling starving every few days and just eat off plan. Maybe I can convince my husband one day I can't sustain weight loss with breastfeeding is that because my calories are too low or is it because I can't seem to stop putting honey in my coffee? Oh, sweetheart, the honey in the coffee is making you hungry. Um, and you probably do need more calories than you're giving yourself. Have you, are you in our program? Have you gotten coaching around the breastfeeding? Because we have some experience around helping people do breastfeeding. Um, if you're on a pure weight loss plan, that is not advised during breastfeeding. Uh, but the honey and the coffee doesn't, doesn't work either. That keeps the cravings alive. So yeah. So those are my thoughts. Um, Michelle Day says, is it necessary to always have salad every day for dinner? No produce is produce. So you can do any combination of cooked vegetables or raw vegetables that you prefer. So some options include some finger veggies, you know, some jicama strips, carrot uh, sticks, you know, cherry tomatoes, things like that. Or um, just a big, you know, a bunch of cooked vegetables if you just want to do cooked. Um, sometimes I'll grate carrots. There's something about grating carrots, like not baby carrots, whole carrots, and then peeling them and grating them that makes them so delicious. And sometimes I'll do grated carrots with some red onion, some cilantro or parsley or something. So you can, you can really mix it up. Really, any combination of vegetables is fine. 
Holly Hale says, I need to be accountable. I am no longer in my right-sized body. I am from Wisconsin and I am committing. Holly, I'm holding your commitment. What are you going to do to get yourself the support that you need? That's my question for you. Sean Daly says, hey, Susan, happy new year to you. I'm reading your book right now. I have a question about flour and sugar. How do you feel about rice flour or protein bars that have no sugar but have other things? I think that they are addictive and they're uh, clearly uh, not uh, bright line eating friendly. Like the no sugar, no flour rules absolutely apply to those things. And I think that those are exactly the kind of things that keep people tripped up, right? Um, they interact in the brain just like sugar and you got to avoid them or you will, your, your brain won't heal and you'll continue to have your hunger and cravings that you've got now. Stephanie H says, hi, I just finished your BLE book and I will be signing up for boot camp. I always wondered if shorter people have issues losing weight compared to average height folks. I am five feet tall. Hey, Stephanie, welcome to boot camp. I'm excited you're signing up. Um, so my answer to that is on average, yes, but it's a bell curve. So meaning some folks who are five feet tall will lose weight faster than other folks who are five feet six. But on average, shorter people will lose weight less fast on the Bright Line Eating Food Plan, right? Um, the weight loss food plan does not account for height, right? Um, but I really recommend if you're five feet tall, just do the Bright Line Eating Food Plan as outlined. It really does work across the board for pretty much everybody. Um, and if your weight loss isn't, um, if you're not losing one to two pounds a week with it, uh, after about a month, you'll be able to tell. Or if um, your weight loss plateaus at some point, like you lose one to two pounds a week just fine at first, but then that weight loss slows down and you still have quite a bit of weight to lose, then you could shave some food. I would get coaching at that point. You'll be, you'll be in the boot camp, so you can get coaching from our trained coaches. Um, so yeah. Okay. Great question. Welcome to Brightline Eating again. Yay. All right. Um, Carla Mores says, Susan, Brightline seems extremely similar. And I would even say like a copy of Food Addicts and Recovery Anonymous. So my questions are, is this the program that you followed in your youth to recover? And how is Brightline eating different from Food Addicts and Recovery Anonymous? So Carla, great question. So Food Addicts and Recovery Anonymous, or FA, is one of about seven or eight 12-step food programs that have significant membership. There's also Overeaters Anonymous, Food Addicts Anonymous, Anorexics and Bulimics Anonymous, Compulsive Eater, CEA How, which stands for Compulsive Eaters Anonymous, HOW for Honest, Open-Minded, and Willing, Grace Eaters Anonymous, 90 day OA and a few more. Okay. So, um, because this is a public video and I'm very sensitive to the 12 traditions, I never talk explicitly about specific membership and specific programs, um, in any public forum, not in my books, not on videos. Um, I am candid that I come from a 12 step background, both for drug and alcohol recovery and also for food recovery. Um, the most, but not all of the program, the food programs got their basic approach from Overeaters Anonymous and how it worked before in the 1980s, it stopped offering food plans. But prior to that, uh, it, it, it had specific guidelines around what to eat and what not to eat in a pamphlet called Dignity of Choice. And so really the genesis actually goes back to Overeaters Anonymous. And so I'm just going to answer your question more broadly and say that um, there has been significant um, influence from those programs, which I've always been very, very candid about. And yet there are massive differences. So I would say without a doubt, the biggest difference is that bright line eating is scientifically grounded and we talk a lot about science here. I teach you science and we update what we do based on new science and 12 step programs 
are amazing and helpful. And they're also an oral tradition. So they're not updating what they do based on the latest scientific literature. It's just not how they operate, right? They're not talking about dopamine downregulation or leptin resistance. They're not looking at, you know, insulin and leptin curves and trying to decide whether a bean pasta would be acceptable for someone to eat based on the insulin leptin response rate after someone eats it, right? The sponsors are just saying, no, we don't eat that. Or yes, we eat that based on the history of what their sponsor did and whether it worked or not, right? <clears throat> so the scientific grounding is by far the biggest difference. The other major, major difference is that um, our support structures are completely different. In 12-step programs, you have a sponsor who often will kind of tell you exactly what you must do in order to keep working with them, right? In Brightline Eating, each person is on their own recognizance to craft their program um, based on the materials that we offer, based on what makes sense to them. And they create they create support structures with buddies and mastermind groups, the online support community, Gideon Games. We provide these structures for people to, to buddy up, to, to get support. Um, but it's a whole different type of support than is offered in a 12-step program. The third big difference is that there's no there's no explicit God uh, requirement in Brightline Eating. Um, all 12-step programs are based on uh, belief in God to solve your problem, essentially. Turning your will and your life over to the care of God and then praying and trusting God to relieve the obsession. Brightline Eating um, leaves people's spiritual practice more to themselves and says, here's, here's the tools that work and, um, and does it that way. Right. So it might be a better fit for people who are atheist or agnostic or don't want a 12 step flavored version of their spirituality. If they feel like they've got that covered in their religion and they would like to keep that sort of separate. Right. And then finally in 12 step programs, um, people say it's free, which it is, but you're giving a dollar or two or more for each meeting you attend. It's voluntary, but that's the custom. Um, and you can add up, you know, if you go to a meeting a day or three meetings a week or whatever, that would ultimately add up to in terms of a cost, right? Um, and then Brightline Eating costs money, right? It's a, it's, you know, we have employees who deliver what we do. We treat them well. We believe in a living wage and full health insurance. Um, and so that's a difference there too. Um, so there are a lot of differences, right? Um, and a lot of similarities, a lot of, you know, I would say 12 step is a significant influence in Brightline eating, but I would say the science that I taught in my college course on the psychology of eating and the neuroscience of food addiction is a second significant influence. And I would say the style of offering an online course to an online community that I learned from Jeff Walker's approach called Launch, and he's got a book that teaches people how to do that. That's why how I learned how to offer an online thing to people. That's the third significant influence. And I've always been very candid about all those influences and 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 where Bright Line Eating comes from. So the program you mentioned actually takes almost everything that they did from Overeaters Anonymous, which took almost everything that they did from Alcoholics Anonymous, which took most of what they did from the Oxford groups. Um, and the reality is that everything good comes there, right? It's like uh, everybody's standing on the shoulders of giants. That's the way it works, right? Is like, uh, we're all influenced in so many ways um, by so many good things. So it's a wonderful question and thank you for asking it. Okay, Dar Dara. Myers says, if you do boot camp, do I lose access eventually or keep my access? How much is the annual membership? Okay, great question. So Dara, the way it works is the boot camp is for access during the program. You get a username and a login and it works while you're a member. So if you decide not to do Bright Lifers, the annual membership, you will no longer have a username and a password. So you will lose access to the online hub that provides the videos and so forth. Um, and the membership for Bright Lifers is significantly discounted right at the end of the membership. It goes from $4.99 to $3.99. Uh, that's, that's annual, so $3.99 a year. 
and you lock in that rate if you sign up for Bright Lifers at the end of the boot camp. Carla says, can you tell me more about the membership? Um, cost is an annual cancellation policy. Okay, so I just said the cost, it's annual. Um, cancellation policy is, um, is I believe, how does it work? What is our cancellation policy? I think I think it's like 14 days. We all, all of our programs have a 14 day, 100% refund period. Um, and then after that, you, you're not required to re-up the next year or anything like that. We send you um, reminders and stuff. So you'll know when your re-up is due. Um, <clears throat> let's see. I think my team is going gonna, is gonna to fill me in on that. Um, Misty McLaughlin says, how do I know if I've signed up for Bright Lifers? Okay, that's the cutest question ever. Um, how do I know if I've signed up for Bright Lifers? Well, you could try going to the hub and see if you have a username and a login that works, right? There's a password reset option. So you could just find out if you have an active account. That would help. So go to hub.brightlineeating.com, hub.brightlineeating.com. And then use the email address that you would have signed up with and try to sign in. That will let you know. Okay. Um, okay. Let's see here. Uh, Miranda Connection says, I need help leaving the morning coffee with NMF. Um, Ah, I see. So this is my previous comment on breastfeeding, uh, your previous comment on breastfeeding and the honey in there. You know what? I used to make my coffee with so much cream and sugar that I swear a thousand people, I don't even think I'm exaggerating. I am probably. Okay. Looked at me while I was making my coffee, either at a diner or at, you know, a station at work or whatever. And I put I mean, something like eight creams and eight sugars in a cup of coffee. And everyone would say to me, you want some coffee with that cream and sugar? Like I would gross them out. And when it was proposed to me that I have coffee black, I just, like to me, coffee was an attempt to make warm coffee ice cream. Like that's what I was aiming for. And I just did not, I hated it hated the taste of black coffee. It just tasted like some sort of toxic diesel fuel to me. And I just thought that people were crazy when they said, drink it black. So I didn't. And I stayed sick. I stayed, I stayed overweight. I stayed crazy with my food. And I never addressed it until I did, until I got willing enough to get well. And then I just tried black coffee and I gave it some time. It's an acquired taste. And I grew to love it. I grew to love it so much that I've had to give it up. <laughs> I can't, I can't engage with coffee anymore because I'll just go overboard with it. Black, too much. I'll, I'll have another one and another one. Um, and I'm just here to say black coffee will grow on you. That is what I have found. Black coffee will grow on you. Give it a chance. Every taste bud Every taste bud cell is dead and reborn to a new cell every two weeks. They are some of the fastest turning over cells in the human body. So um, give it give it a couple weeks, just purely black, and you will be fine. And it's worth it, sweetheart. The the just think about you know really your life, your happiness, your health, your peace of mind. Think of everything that you want, everything you're doing bright line eating for. It is worth just getting accustomed to black coffee so that you can have that in your life. You want it. It's worth it. Okay. Um, okay. Debbie Johnson says, I've not yet joined boot camp. What is the cost of Bright Lifers monthly? So are you in the boot camp uh, and you just don't know if you're in Bright Lifers? I, I'm, I'm a little confused. If you haven't joined the boot camp yet, the thing to do is to join the boot camp, and you'll get to hear about Bright Lifers at the end. But Bright Lifers is three ninety nine when you get there, um, and you can do monthly. I think it's, but it's it's a lot more. I think it's like it's like fifty nine a month. I think um, almost nobody does it. People just bite the bullet and do the annual because it's so much cheaper. 
Um, okay. All right. So Misty asked earlier about repeating the boot camp. Uh, and I said that you could repeat it in Bright Lifers, but you just did the October boot camp. So you have your next steps on January 7th. Okay. So Misty says, how do I know if I've signed up for Bright Lifers? Okay. You haven't signed up for it yet, my dear. You haven't signed up for it yet. The next steps um, webinar that I'm going to do with you live is coming up this coming Sunday at 2 p.m. For you, you're a current boot camper. My team just looked you up in our system, Misty, so that you're clear. Okay. All right. Good. Um, Z says, I would love some coaching on breastfeeding. Thank you. Can I pay for that outside of the boot camp? Thank you. I'll commit to the lines. I'm sorry. Oh, sweetheart. I don't think we have that available. We don't have bright line eating coaches who can coach outside of the boot camp. So inside the boot camp would be the way to get coaching. Um, the basics are you're going to need some more food than the weight loss food plan, right? And you might actually need to do for a while no sugar, no flour, but eat as often as you want, or maybe add a fourth meal. I mean, it kind of depends. I'm kind of curious how your breast milk supply has been going, um, doing it the way you've been doing it. So, yeah. Um, Kathy uh, Lehman is here, says, me on day one. Black coffee is from Susan. I switched to Earl Grey tea for a few months, which is tasty with nothing in it. And I could have three cups for the same caffeine. Um, Debbie Johnson says, I love black coffee. Uh, yeah, you'll get used to it. I promise. Stephanie H says, will the boot camp help to navigate family conversations about bright line eating? My family does not understand food addiction because they don't have an issue. Stephanie, it really, really will. It will help on so many levels right away in the boot camp, We have a bonus for you that comes out pretty soon. That's called a full flourishing life. And it's all about family, social situations, gatherings. And we give you guidance on having the hard conversations with your family. Very specific guidance, like even conversation scripts, right? And then we also have a video for friends and family that you can send them the link and I'll explain to them. I'll explain to them how your brain is different from theirs and how what works for them and applies to them doesn't work for you and doesn't apply to you and why, how your brains are different. And we also, this is brand new, this, this just now, this January, we have a pamphlet that you can, like literally a brochure, like the type of brochure you get from a doctor's office that you can download and print out and fold up and make into a little brochure and hand to them. So that explains everything too. So we do have a lot of supports for you to help communicate about this with your family because it is hard and they don't understand. And they may never understand fully is the truth of it, right? Because they may never be able to get past the fact that that it doesn't work that way for them. So they don't get it, right? But ultimately, we give you a lot of tools to help it be more comfortable. And, and some of them will ultimately get it. Some of them will. Not all of them. That's just my experience. Some of them will get it, uh, which is lovely. All right. Mel Vaughn says, I kept the weight off for two years with Brightline Eating. I had to move states and change jobs, working nights. I gained 10 pounds in seven months. I'm getting back to the day shift in a week. Word for the month is consistent. Susan, I'm desperate for night shift tips. Please advise. Oh my goodness, Mel, it's so hard on the circadian rhythm to do night shift. I mean, first of all, I'm so glad you're getting back to day shift in a week. So this advice is like a day late and a dollar short, right? Because you're already getting back to day shifts in a week. But I mean, it's basically my suggestions are all the things I'm sure you've done, which is just shift your meals based on when you know you're going to be up, right? And I would get, um, you know, like really, really good blackout shades, maybe even put tinfoil over your window so that you that no light comes in. Use an eye mask, use earplugs as you sleep during the day and then just be up and just space your meals for when you're up. But it is hard. I'm so glad you're going back to day shift. I'm so glad, my dear. So hard. M. Ramos says, I've signed up for the boot camp as my last hope to heal my food addiction. I'm coming all the way in and sitting all the way down. I'm looking for peace around food and in my life. M. Ramos, you are in the right place, my dear. And with your 
orientation toward it. You can't go wrong. Like you're doing exactly the right thing. You come all the way in and set all the way down. You've got this. You really do. So happy for you. Denise A says, any data with BLE helping to improve chemo brain? I'm one and a half years post-treatment and I still experience it. I signed up for Bootcamp 2.0. Uh, Denise, welcome to Bootcamp 2.0, my dear. Welcome. So I don't have any data on that. That's a very specific uh, subset. But what we do have is, you know, lots of people experiencing brain fog in general lifting with Brightline eating and for good reason, right? Sugar causes a lot of brain fog. And I'm curious whether you'd be willing to report back to me and my team and let us know how it goes with you, uh, whether you know, a few weeks on bright line eating through the boot camp helps to lift some of the symptoms you're experiencing. I bet it will. I bet it will. Leanne Knight says, I've been off Ozempic for six months and I've gained every pound back. I am so glad to be going BLE 100%. Oh, Leanne, such a disappointment. I'm so sorry, my dear. I know that's what the data show happens, but it's so frustrating. You think, right? Like, why can't my brain just adjust to my new body fat set point and accept this? But it doesn't. It just drives you right back up the scale. I'm so sorry, my dear. Well, welcome to Brightline Eating. And we have data we just collected on six years after the boot camp. Six years later, these are people who did the boot camp uh, in uh, October of 2017. And we just collected data on them. And they're still maintaining their boot camp weight loss six years later. So, that's the good news is on average, you know, people are different, right? But on average, even if you do nothing else, if you just do the boot camp, you will maintain that weight loss. The weight that you lose in the boot camp on average does not come back. So that's pretty exciting. Jennifer Young says, signed up for boot camp. First time, I'm a 10 plus. I've gained 10 pounds in the last month waiting for boot camp to start. I already sent Dr. Joy a message for my binging. January 6th is my birthday and I'm looking forward to a bright day. Jennifer Young, welcome to Brightline Eating. I love the uh, the action you're taking, like really taking initiative to get yourself the support you need. I love it. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm also someone who comes from just wicked, wicked binge eating disorder. At one point in my early 20s, I ruptured my stomach lining from my binging. It was so, so bad. And I just, I'm living binge free and loving it. And you can get there too. I'm just so loving you. Welcome to Brightline Eating, my dear. Welcome. Debbie Johnson says, yes, I do want to get off Manjaro, but I'm concerned about gaining weight. So I'm here to learn more about Brightline. Welcome, Debbie. Yeah, welcome. This is a place that we can help you do that. We can help you get the GLP-1 from your dietary patterns instead of from a drug and keep that weight off. So consider doing the boot camp. It's not available all the time. Registration is going to close on Friday and the boot camp starts on Saturday. So now is the time to hop in if you want to give it a try. Jean Sierra says, I feel scared that this will be another failure for me, but I'm at a place where I need to be with like-minded people and support. Is anyone else feeling trepidation? Oh, Jean. So, you know, every big important thing is scary, I think, right? Like that's, I remember, um, I remember before like speaking at a big at a big conference for the first time, I was kind of shaking and someone said, yeah, that's God shaking the truth out of you. <laughs> I mean, like every big endeavor feels scary, right? So trepidation is an absolutely normal feeling. And I actually even think it's a good sign, to be honest, because it means you're taking it very seriously. It means you can feel the enormity of it, right? Um, yeah, it's like, we want you to take this seriously. This is a big deal. It's a big commitment. It's a, you know, changing your life as radically as people's lives change around here is a big deal. So that kind of trepidation, it's just, it's honest. It's honest, it's real. And I even think it's helpful, right? It, it's the kind of thing that will give your brain extra sharpness as you study the planning and the preparation process. It's a good five, five and a half hour process to go through the planning and preparation process. And um, 
yeah, it will keep you, you know, on your toes as you do it. It's good. Carla Mores says, I'm concerned about all calls being in Eastern time. I'm in Pacific time and I work full time during the day. I can't take time for business hours calls. How will I be able to take advantage of the calls? So they're all recorded. So you can you can listen to them at any time works for you. Um, and we rotate the the specific timing of them through the um, I mean, one of the one of our coaches lives in Pacific time, right? We, as a matter of fact, Lyndon is our primary boot camp uh, coach. Um, well, I think all of our coaches actually do boot camp calls. That's not true. Uh, but one of our primary boot camp coaches lives in Vancouver and um, yeah, she's on Pacific time. So we offer the calls at different times of day so that uh, folks in different time zones can participate, but they're all recorded. And there's no need to be there uh, live necessarily. So Sharon Davis says, I'm here to strengthen my program. I want to tighten up my lines and my habit stacks. I am in maintenance. I want to lose my final five pounds and then maintain. I'm vegan and afraid I actually overindulge with vegetables. Sharon, you're not alone with that. You know, quantities in and of themselves give a dopamine hit. So um, I personally have found quantity addiction to be the hardest to kick. It's, uh, yeah, it's weird, but just having, you know, just that big apple. I was um, at the grocery store. I always buy organic apples, but the organic the organic apples were like, not just small, but also like wrinkled and kind of soft and shrivelly. They just did not look like good apples. So I did something I, I, I almost never do, which is I bought unorganic apples and they were massive. They were like firm and huge. And just the size of those apples gave me like a hit. Like I was like, oh my God, like little baby's heads. And um, yeah, you can, you can get a hit off of just quantities. It's just, yeah. So um, anyway, I think boot camp is a great plan for you. It sounds like you're going to use it um, to really pour that foundation stronger. And you got this. You got this. Chrissy Smith says, what are the Gideon games? Okay. So Chrissy, they're not, a, they're not for boot campers. Boot camp is a time when you're really focused on just doing the boot camp. But once you get into the membership, once you get into Bright Lifers, four times a year, starting in February, and then every three months after that, like February 1st, um, and then every three months after that, um, we hold a contest that's called the Gideon Games. People get into onto teams of 10 people. You don't have to worry about finding a team if you don't know people. The whole point is you just click the button on the website to, to participate, and then you get assigned to a team. Later on, when you know people, if you want to form your own team, you can submit a preformed team if you want to, but you don't have to. You can just be randomly assigned to a team. There'll be a team leader, and it's a group of 10 people who support each other in just having the most bright days. That's the contest. It's 90 days, 10 people, whichever team has the most bright days. Everyone gets a one or a zero. Bright day is a one, not a bright day is a zero. And so 10 people, 90 days, 900 potential points are available. And, um, you know, winning the game is the contest, but really that's just a ruse for getting to know people. And what ends up happening is you get to know those 10 people really well, those nine other people, and you just form bonds and get to know people. And uh, some people literally make some of the best friends of their whole life from the Gideon Games. It's amazing. It's a really, really sweet connection vehicle, basically. Um, Sharon Davis says, I'm thinking of doing the resume to get remotivated. I think that's a great idea. Desert Wildflower says, I'm ready to resume and complete the boot camp. I couldn't do it over the holidays. All right, time to do it. Boot camp, here we go. Victoria King says, I'm in the ditch, but jumping into the boot camp with both Feet. Victoria King, I just, I'm giving you the biggest hug right now, Victoria, come here. Oh, you got this, sweetheart. You do, you do, you do, you do, you do. Jumping into the boot camp with both feet sounds perfect. Perfect, my dear. You've got this. 
And just remember all that sugar up in your head, it's just, it creates so much negativity. All you got to do is just trust just in a few bright days, you will feel reborn. It's amazing. All right. Sharon Davis says, uh, I recently watched your video with Ari and purchased Energenesis. Do you think this will help with my low energy? It might. I take it every morning. It might. Um, April Lynn Barrett says, I did the original boot camp twice. Lifey life keeps breaking me. I will sign up for the boot camp. Thank you. Sounds good, my dear. Sounds good. This new boot camp is incredible. It's uh, it's amazing. I think it's going to be just what you need. Um, Anna Hernandez says, am I able to stay plant-based uh, and ve vegan on Bright Lines? Absolutely, Anna. Absolutely. As a matter of fact, we make that so easy for you, Anna. We have um, our protein tables are separated so that the vegan or plant-based protein options are all listed separately. So you don't even have to look at the animal-based options. You, do, you can just ignore them altogether. And honestly, being plant-based, um, I've been plant-based uh, on and off. It's not a bright line for me, but literally I've gone whole years, years upon years where I've been 100% plant-based. It's very easy to do in bright line eating because the food plan um, is just modular, meaning you can just, you don't need to have four ounces of chicken. You can have four ounces of tempeh. <laughs> you don't need to have two ounces of cheese. You can have two ounces of nuts, two ounces of seeds. Uh, it's like you could, or two ounces of cashew cheese, right? Like you can totally just, it's all, uh, so easy to do plant-based. You don't need to have eight ounces of Greek yogurt that's made from cow stuff. You can, I actually have a vlog on how to make the most delicious homemade Greek soy yogurt, super high protein. Anyway, yes, it's very, very, very easy to be 100% plant-based on Brightline Eating, and we support it completely. I mean, honestly, John and Ocean Robbins and the Food Revolution Network would not support Brightline Eating as wholeheartedly as they do if that weren't really, really true. Like, it really is true. It's not required around here, but it's very supported and enabled. Um, A. Williams says, I am brand new. I am also pre-diabetic. I also have just been diagnosed with skin cancer. I'm so very hopeful that removing the poisons of sugar and flour will help me cure my body from cancer. Question, how should I space the timing of my three meals? I have low blood sugar dips that make me feel terrible. Great question. So first of all, um, uh, William, A. Williams, I'm just loving you so much. I'm so sorry about your diagnosis. Without a doubt, giving up sugar is going to be very good for your cancer. You know that, right? Without a doubt, sugar, uh, cancer feeds on sugar. So getting rid of that sugar is going to be good. And um, I know someone who's got low blood sugar dips that really send her reeling. And what I recommend you do is try having three meals a day, exactly as it's recommended in Bright Line Eating. And then um, I recommend if you have a low blood sugar incident where you feel really terrible, you have an emergency tiny meal that you have to get you to the next meal. And you add that. Uh, on an as needed basis because of the drop in blood sugar. Now, I, I, it's so interesting that Ana Hernandez just asked her question about being plant-based. You're not saying anything about being plant-based or not. Um, if you are not plant-based, then what I would recommend, just because it's so easy to carry around, is a cheese stick, a string cheese stick. Um, that's one ounce. It's already weighed in the little package plus half an ounce of nuts. That would be your emergency meal allotment. If you are plant-based, what I would do is I would have a whole ounce of nuts and then uh, maybe a clementine, like a tiny little orange. Um, and here's what I've seen over and over again is that type of blood sugar issue it will resolve on average. It tends to resolve very quickly in people uh, when they do bright line eating. So I would expect you to experience uh, it resolving. 
Um, it may not. Uh, it doesn't resolve, I don't think, for 100% of people, but on average, it tends to resolve. So I'm very hopeful for you um, that your prediabetes will clear up and with it, your blood sugar issues. So good luck, my dear. Um, Wendy Miller says, what are your thoughts on moving some of the portions to different times of the day, like moving some of the veggies to breakfast, not adding, just moving around? Wendy, um, I'm fine with that as long as you do it uh, permanently, like as long as you're not deciding every day, am I, when am I going to have my veggies? No, no, no. If you want to move, say, four ounces of veggies from dinner to breakfast, and that's now your food plan, great. You want to build automaticity with your food plan. So you want to have it be consistent day in and day out. Uh, but really, it's fine if you want to move things around to a way that you like it better. That's fine. Um, Julian Willicott says, I'm just preparing my breakfast and lunch for tomorrow. Well, that is a fabulous thing to do while watching a bright line eating YouTube live. Food prep. It's how we roll, baby. How we roll. Uh, Jack's fit mama says, how can you maneuver family gatherings such as birthdays and weddings? And hello from Sweden. Oh, Jack's fit mama. We have a whole um bonus for you in the boot camp that explains in detail how to navigate family gatherings like birthdays and weddings it's called a full flourishing life navigating friends family and social occasions and so in the boot camp we teach it there's a lot to it right there's how to talk to people about it there's how to handle the food there's what kind of support to get before during and after there's the things that most replenish willpower in the moment so you can make it through sticking with your commitment during the event. There's so much to it. And we cover all of it in that bonus. And we give you that bonus pretty early on in the boot camp so that um, anytime you've got a social gathering, a family gathering, you know what to do. So we got you covered. We got you covered. It's all in the boot camp. Sharon Davis says, I recently found a recipe to make uh, red lentil tortillas, red lentils, water, and salt only. Are these acceptable? Sharon, they're borderline. And here's why. As a matter of fact, I should, I should write that down um, and do a vlog on it. Um, so yes, they're acceptable in that they're a completely bright line eating compliant food. The only thing is that because it looks and seems like a tortilla, parts of the brain are going to treat it like a tortilla, meaning they're going to release some of the same chemicals that they release as if you were eating a tortilla, which you don't want to happen, right? That dopamine and insulin and things like that. Um, so what I would recommend is that you don't do that at first, get through the boot camp, wait for your brain to heal, and then try that and see, you'll be able to see, we have actually a process called the four questions, which enables you to see if a deviation works for you. Um, that's what I would recommend. Holly Hale says, I know I fell off the rails. I had a really hard year, but almost five years ago, I decided to do this for two weeks. I knew I would only last four days. I had tried every type of weight loss diet out there. I tried Brightline eating, not expecting results, but within two years, I had released 120 pounds. I went from a size 24W to a size four. I will get back to my right sized body. Oh, Holly Hale, thank you for sharing that. And you know what? If you did it once, you can do it again. Bright line eating really does work. We're completely here for you. I hope you're getting into the boot camp. I hope you'll get into Bright Lifers. Let us support you. As we say around here, come all the way in and sit all the way down. You got this, Holly. I'm just loving you. It sounds like it's been a really hard year. Oh, just sending you all the love and fortitude that you need to resume. Strong resume, girlfriend. You got this. Corinne Stratman says, I am a bright lifer. <clears throat> I tried and didn't follow through with Bootcamp 2.0. Do I need to sign up again to follow along with the new bootcamp? I previously lost 103 pounds, fell off, and gained 60 back. So Corinne, um, you don't need to... You're a bright lifer. 
So you get the boot camp as part of your Bright Lifers membership. Um, but you might want to go into the hub and see in that right hand column there whether there's an opportunity to just let us know of your intention to do the boot camp so that you get put on the email list to receive all the emails for it. That will help you follow along with the boot camp, right? All of the content will show up in your hub under the boot camp, but um, but you want to get the emails as well. So that's the only way that you need to sign up. So go into the hub and look for that. A. Williams says, Susan, you just made me feel so special. Your answer is thoughtful, caring, and logical too. I too believe that my blood sugar and cancer issues will resolve with Brightline eating. I'm so glad, my dear. Oh, you just you just made me feel special. I was like, oh, what did I say? Oh, sweetie, you just made me feel so, so good. I'm so glad. I'm so glad, sweetheart. You're going to be loved and cared for around here. We really do care about the people we serve. I'm welcome to Bright Line Eating. I'm so glad, my dear. So glad. Oh. Wendy Miller says, thank you for your response. I have automaticity with my breakfast already and didn't want to alter that. I appreciate you answering my questions. You're welcome, Wendy. And Midge Miller says, <clears throat> In the videos, you say not to start an exercise program when starting Brightline. <clears throat> I've been doing a very mild exercise program for two weeks. Can I continue this program? Um, your call, my dear, your call. I love that you say it's very mild. I love that you say it's very mild. Two weeks isn't long enough for it to be automatic. So I think you need to weigh, weigh out the pros and cons, right? Like if you find it naturally slipping away, I would just let it go. There will be a time later that will be better to start an exercise program. If you find yourself naturally just sticking with it and it's very mild and it's working for you and the food is feeling really easy and it's becoming automatic and you're sticking with it completely, you're getting all your, your video modules watched every week and you're really committed to the program doing the boot camp, then it might be fine, right? It might be fine. Um, Sharon Davis says, oh my God, I think my apples are always too big. <laughs> I just went to the grocery store today, but after these five, I will be more mindful and not, not choosing the really big apples. Yeah, no shame, Sharon. It's just, it's a thing. Quantities are a thing, right? It really is. Okay. Holly Hale says, thank you for all you do. You're welcome, Holly. You're welcome, my dear. Misty McLaughlin says, thank you so much, Susan. Much appreciated. Stephanie H says, this has been so helpful. Thank you for answering my questions. You're welcome, Stephanie. Debbie Johnson says, I'm happy to say I just joined Bootcamp 2.0. Woo woo. Welcome, Debbie. So glad. Welcome to Bootcamp 2.0. Martha Obenauer says, hello from Seattle. I found Brightline Eating in February of 2022, did the original Bootcamp, lost 40 pounds, but then life got lifey. I'm finishing up the new October bootcamp 2.0. And wow, so amazing. Down 30 pounds so far. Martha, I'm so glad you're loving bootcamp 2.0. Well done, my dear. Chrissy Smith says signing up for bootcamp and I'm very excited. Welcome, Chrissy. Welcome, Chrissy. Justin DePolis Metz says today is day 95. I'm down 39.4 pounds as of this morning. I started boot camp 2.0 yesterday and talked to a buddy for the first time this morning. I'm so happy to not be doing this alone anymore. Justin, welcome, welcome, welcome to the boot camp. I'm so, so glad that you recognize the need for support and accountability and more structure. I think you're gonna love the boot camp, and I'm just thrilled that you're here. Welcome. Ah, Kadijan, Iman is back. My word for the year is excitement. I'm at the market as we speak, buying all my bright foods. Woohoo! Kadijan, welcome. Oh, I'm so glad for you. That's awesome. Julian Willicott says, just bought the audiobook and I'm loving it. Can't wait to try it. Awesome, Julian. Awesome. And Friar Chick says, I am ready. I have all my BLE food products, the books. Even the newest one on this bright day, the journals, bunny slippers, the magnets, food scale, shopping list, and I'm ready to start this new year. That is incredible. So sweet to spend this time with you, my dears. Thank you. Thank you so much. 
And I'm doing a webinar tomorrow night that you might want to do. It's called Avoid the Three Huge Mistakes That Will Derail Your Progress in 2024. It's all about goal setting. And I think you're going to love it. So that's what you might want to sign up for. The link will be accessible in the, the link that's in the blurb for this uh, YouTube Live. So check that out. Sign up for the webinar. And I'll be doing another YouTube Live again on Wednesday, January 3rd at 10 a.m. Eastern Time. I will see you there. So sweet to be with you. Lots of love. Susan Pierce Thompson signing off. Bye, everyone.